My goodness, good morning friends. So it has been a crazy couple of days. So just to backtrack a little bit, um, I was supposed to be going out of town this weekend with Ben. We were supposed to be going to Asheville for a CrossFit competition. Um, my mother-in-law was going to be watching all of my babies um, for us for a day and so that we could just get away. And um, we noticed probably a Thursday, Olivia was saying, it's okay. I know. I know. We noticed that Olivia's um, was saying that her throat was starting to bother her a little bit, um, but we just kind of thought she was being a little bit dramatic because she does that. Um, but then I looked in her mouth a little bit later and saw that she had some red spots. What happened? Okay, you ready to get out? Yeah. Okay, we'll pick this up in just a second. <laughs> so anyway, so I looked in Olivia's mouth and noticed that she had some red spots at the top of her mouth, like in the roof of her mouth, and um, yeah, she seems fine now, right? So I thought maybe she was getting strep because the throat hurting and stuff. And then she spiked a really high fever, um, almost 103, and she was just lethargic for the rest of the day. So we gave her some medicine for the pain and, um, and for the fever, and we called her doctor first thing the next morning because I noticed that she was getting some bumps on the outside of her mouth. And I immediately, <laughs> I immediately knew what it was. Um, so I rushed her to the doctor and Sure enough, she has hand, foot, and mouth, and the doctor said that he did see a couple of ulcers on her tonsils, so we did a strep test as well, um, which came back negative, thank the Lord, but Little Miss hasn't been interested in eating. She has sores all on the inside of her mouth, all on the outside of her mouth. It's all up her arms, spreading to her hands now. She has a few on her feet, but I haven't seen a bunch there yet, um, but it's slowly spreading around her body, and it's just so sad, so we've been doing lots of cuddles, haven't we? We're doing lots of snuggles, yeah. <laughs> and um, what you saw a second ago, she was taking an oatmeal bath. I bought that eczema therapy oatmeal soak for babies. Um, it says for irritated um, skin, so I went ahead and got some of that. The poor blisters on her on her mouth are starting to pop, and it's hurting her really bad. So um, we're just keeping her hydrated, giving her whatever she'll eat to eat. Um, that's what the doctor said. He said, this is the time where you just break all the rules. If she wants popsicles, you just give her popsicles. If she wants juice, you give her juice. Um, anything to keep her hydrated and all that good stuff. So I feel so bad for her. She even has little blisters. Okay, baby, in just a minute, just a minute. She even has little blisters um, under her eyes and around her nose, like in this general area here. So it's getting pretty gross. And I asked my mom to come and take the boys for the weekend, so she did, because they weren't showing any signs or symptoms. It's not to say that it that they don't have it, and it just hasn't shown up yet, but we're just praying that they don't have it, and I got them out of the house as fast as I could. We were just quarantined in the house this weekend, trying to make this one feel better. I am trying my best to keep my hands washed, but this little girl is all over me all the time. So I'm, I'm feeling fine, so hopefully I don't get it. It's not super common for adults to get hand, foot, and mouth, but it can happen, but I'm just hoping that it doesn't for me. <laughs> the doctor said he's seen a lot of cases of strep and hand, foot, and mouth this week, so um, it's definitely going around. So make sure that you're talking to your kids' teachers and that sort of thing. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can you sing? Say, twinkle, twinkle, little. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> you want to get a popsicle? What popsicle? Okay, let's go put your clothes on first, and then we'll get a popsicle, okay? And for those of you wondering why the HG -E double hockey sticks, I have the camera on during this time. It's because I started this YouTube channel to document our lives and to, um, you know, just kind of be able to look back on things and show our children things that they 
maybe what? wouldn't have remembered otherwise. So hey, this is one of those back. times that we're gonna look back and be like, remember that time you had hand, foot, and mouth? And she's gonna go, oh, what's that? And I'm gonna say, let me show you. I've got your so, back. I'm scratching my back. <laughs> so that's why I have the camera on. But obviously, if she's doing okay. We're getting lots of love and cuddles in, and we're watching fun movies, and yeah. If it back on, I do when I mean, I you guys that is so pitiful that is so pitiful she um she rolled around all night like all night crying and fussing um one second hello yes ma'am um olivia has hand foot and mouth um, pretty bad and she um she has blisters like all around the outside of her mouth and up, up her arms and on her hands and not many on her feet yet but um she's pretty miserable and didn't sleep at all last night and i'm giving her tylenol and motrin like alternating to try to help with the pain but it doesn't seem to really be doing much i just didn't know if there was anything else i could be doing for the blisters to ease her pain one eternity later okay thank you you have a good day <laughs> so sad okay so she rolled around and cried all night like there was not a second this child was not moving or whining or fussing or crying and it was the most pitiful thing so at three o'clock in the morning like I had had enough like I understand that she's sick like I get it but I tried giving her Tylenol and she was like screaming and kicking and spitting it out and like hitting me and I, like I said I don't think she was really herself like I think she was partially asleep um so I got as much Tylenol into her as I could um you know of her dose and she just couldn't get comfortable so I needed something to distract her so I gave her her iPad and she watched it from probably three in the morning until seven, eight maybe, when we finally just got up and she seemed to be in good spirits, but then you saw it's uh, it's 11.30 and she fell asleep at the table holding a popsicle. So I just went and laid down with her for a second and played some music for her and now she is out. So hopefully she'll sleep for a few hours and really get some good rest in. So yeah, this is really sad. It's legit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> That is seriously the easiest recipe for brownies and I like it better than most like regular brownies. It just uses like gluten free um, flour. It's like almond flour. All purpose gluten free baking flour. But yeah, I'm making us brownies and it's really, really good. So I'll show you what they look like when they come out. They're super moist. 
and gooey and so good and I can't wait to have one but we have to let him cook Libby you want to you want to see what they look like in the oven yeah mm. oh, are you excited yeah brownie. yeah are you excited to eat a brownie yeah that's how mommy feels on the inside <laughs> I decided to build us a little pallet on the floor so that when our brownies are done, we can just snuggle up. Actually, I have a white comforter, but after we eat our brownies, we're gonna snuggle up and watch movies and just hang out for the rest of the day. Yay, I'm pretty excited. We're gonna have a girls' day. We're turning, yeah, don't touch it, it's hot. We're turning our dreary, sickly, semi-depressing day into a good one. I might just go ahead and end the vlog here today. Um, we're not really gonna be doing much of anything for the rest of the day. It's just gonna be a whole lot of snuggling and trying to make each other feel good. So, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out our other videos. Also, if you're new to our channel and want to join our web fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell along with that so that you can get notified when we do upload. And we will catch you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Thank you.